Hey, Steve here with RV to Cycle. Today, we've got some tips for you. If that interests you, stay tuned. First tip has to do with keeping the refrigerator cold when it's empty. If you're like us and you wanna make a quick getaway, that means you keep the fridge on but not necessarily full of food. So how are you gonna deal with that? What are you gonna do? Well, you could do like Kelly does and put towels in your refrigerator. Does two things. Number one, it gives the cold air something to latch onto and it works pretty well. Second benefit of using towels, if there's any interruption in your electrical system and things start to defrost, you got it covered. Towels will soak it right up. So that's tip number one. Tip number two has to do with the magnets used to hold the refrigerator door closed. Now I know we've talked about this before, but I've had more than one subscriber ask me, hey, can you give us a little bit more information? So I'm gonna try and get Kelly to talk about this. And here she is to tell us about it. So. Kelly. So, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Tell folks how you did the magnets on the freezer door in the van. Oh, it's really complicated. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but if all people have to go on is pictures, it can get a little bit confusing. Some people have put the magnet, uh, half the magnet, on the drip tray. And oh, that's not good. <laughs> right. You found, you, you, you tried that, didn't you? No, I didn't try oh, that. Anyway. <laughs> Common sense is that's not where you put it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, got to make sure that the freezer compartment is off, defrosted, and warm. It won't stick to a cold freezer compartment. compartment. And dry. And dry. Clean it with alcohol, both the door and the little box. The, you mean the little box, you mean the lid? The door to the freezer. Okay. And the little box. Oh, the, the bottom of the freezer. Yeah, the whole freezer okay. thing. It's got to be you know, clean with alcohol. Okay. Um, and I think it comes with double-sided tape. It, it, it does. It actually, the magnet and the part the magnet sticks to have tape on it and it's got a little a red thing you need to peel off. Yeah. Anyway, so I put the magnet on the door first, the freezer door, close to the edge, the bottom of the freezer door, on the inside of the door. Then closed it. Well, let's back up. The magnet, the two pieces together on the freezer door, on the inside, then closed it and marked on the bottom of the freezer compartment where the magnets touched the freezer compartment. Then separated them and put the other pieces on the compartment. I thought you did it the other way around. I thought you put mm -mm. on the freezer itself because the door is not so easy to figure out where to put it. But on the freezer compartment, it goes right on that edge which makes it easier. Okay. That works too. Which makes it easier. I think that's what she actually did. <laughs> <laughs> you do what works for you. <laughs> so you might want to try you might want to try first putting the magnets on the freezer like shown in this picture. Then close the door, get a fine tip marker mark a door medium tip <laughs> medium tip mark the door where you want to put the magnet portion and then uh, then apply okay because when you when you when you look at the way they come together it's um the way I'm describing it works, I think, a whole lot better than what she okay, said. Okay, why did you it's, ask it's me been, to sit here and do this? <laughs> it's been a long time since they were put in there. They were put in there when we first got it. 
so you might want to redo this one. <laughs> no, I remember pretty when we first got it. No, I know about this whole video. <laughs> you okay. don't need to describe it. <laughs> oh my word! What? Where She's lost her gourd! Thank goodness for the clap! <laughs> oh! Better be careful, she'll reappear! Last tip for today. In the description area below this video, you will find links for the magnets, towels you can get anywhere. If you don't have towels, then you've got a big problem. Um, more importantly, I'm creating a list, or I have created a list of all the tips and which video carries those tips. So if you need to find one of the tips and don't want to have to look through all oh my word right now we've got i think 13 different videos with tips you will be able to come to this one document you can download it whatever you want to do and find the subject find the video go to it well that's it for today hope you got something out of this video if nothing but a chuckle maybe you learned something hey we appreciate you watching and if you haven't subscribed, I ask that you please do so. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. The more thumbs up, the more subscriptions, the higher things go in the search engine, it makes it easier for other people to find. Again, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate it. See you next time. Bye.